Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Hatfrey Speaks. About to go get it in today with some Queen. That's right, some Queen. So big up to uh, Leroy Brown and Corina, to name but a few. Uh, I I did a reaction to going back. Received some comments in that video. Received comments in pretty much um, all the Queen reaction videos I used to do back in the heyday, I guess, if, you're, if that's what you want to call it. And they were like, yo, you got to check out Hitman from the Innuendo album. Now, obviously, if I've gone back from the 70s, I'm jumping at Innuendo, which is predominantly Freddie's last recorded album. You're going to be thinking, that's not like you to do that. Well, hey, man, told you. i got to keep you guessing because i got to play the game. Anyway, guys, if you're on your channel, please make sure you do hit that subscribe button, notification bell, give this video a like, give it a share, because... We're about to jump in today with Queen Hitman. The Hitman. Not freaking Hitman. The Hitman. Official lyric video. All right, so I don't know what this song's about. All I've been told, it has that 70s Queen sound. So with that being said, I was like, huh, since I was in that kind of realm, this kind of jump ahead might confuse your boy. But it won't because I've already been G'd up because you guys left it in the comments. What to expect? <laughs> anyway, we're going to jump in with this reaction. First time listen. First time reaction. Whatever you want to call it. First time hearing. First time watching. All that good stuff. All that malarkey. We're going to keep it going. All right. So let's jump in. There is the hitman. gonna go back a little bit what i'm trying to say here is this element here sound is absolutely amazing and i'm saying that because i'm aware of freddie's uh, health condition during this album and he just has this oh man <sighs> just <laughs> It's, I, I don't want to say he's like trying here. He's get, he gets a sense of like he's trying here. But I, there's definitely a lot of effort being put in to get this vocal out. I can feel, I can, I can feel that, man. You, you can hear that, right? You know what I'm talking about? Considering his health. Considering that's the same album that The Show Must Go On was on, right? Am I correct? Right? So if that's the case, we all know he took that vodka shot and the show must go on to get that vocal range. If he was doing that on the show must go on, God knows what how much effort he put into this one. Because this, this is up there. Like his ranges are so high. Pitch. All that, all those clever song words people use. I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll get a book one day and read it and I'll, I'll, I'll read them out to you. But yeah, the pitch, the freaking range. Absolutely, yeah. It's there.
Yo, this song's five minutes. My bad. Blood clot. Look. Oh, my days, man. That sound. That I'm going to be real with you as well. Here, hear me out a second. Brian May. In this. Some of the songs I heard from Innuendo. You heard it here first. He. The way he's playing that guitar. And Roger. That whole album. I'm I'm gonna have to go check the album out sometime. There's something about that album I'm I'm, I'm I, I need I get I'm getting this urge, <laughs> just like the urge I had to do when I went back, when I was going back. I kind of I've, I've I fed that beast now. I'm kind of satisfied. I found what I needed to find. Right, something about innuendo. There's something about it, man. There's just something about it. I'm not sure what it is, but there's just the way the sound is. Brian May. I'm pretty sure. I don't want to say he carried the entire album. But I'm pretty sure he had a strong influence of that album because this his guitar playing skills in that album are absolutely fantastic. <laughs> really are. That's the way to do it. Gonna go back a little bit. That bit, that line there. You're gonna make my day. Gonna blow you away. That bit there. Remind. Which song do you remind me of? Is it the show must go on? There's a diff, there's a kind of a nuance of that wordplay with that with that part of the song as well. There's a similarity. I'm not gonna stop playing the song for you guys. So if you if you know what I'm talking about, if I am correct, let me know. If I'm not, where have I heard that sound before in their song? The way Freddie sort of uh, uh, sings those words. just gonna repeat like this damn man you can like because it's it, hang on a sec, because it's, the instruments are going forward and you're just singing uh, and freddie stop singing you almost like you feel like you want to sing along to it as well rock out to it you know what i mean with your own lyrics the yeah yeahs and i've been to the hitman school baby watch out for the sting <laughs> i'll do it all for love that's that a hey, that's the worst one isn't it when it's for love eh? All right, we're going to... Oh, oh, wow.
Wow. I'm telling you now. These these guys made it look easy. These guys absolutely made it look easy. <laughs> they made it easy. You gotta remember the age. Age is age is just a number. Let's just leave it as that. But I mean the freaking hell. The point from where they were to this point here, it's it, it, it's easy for them. It's easy. I mean, look, I wouldn't say it's easy because obviously I, that's just you could say. Well, how would you know it's easy? You're not. You're not them. You know. You're not a musician. You never wrote a song. Okay, perhaps. <laughs> what I mean is, it's they knew that perhaps you know, Freddie was limited time. So it's like we got this idea. All right, let's roll with it. Okay, we got this idea. Let's roll with it. I want to work on this. Okay, let's roll with it. I got this song. All right, let's work together. Any perhaps issues they might have had out the window, hopefully, and they got together and they just busted out these freaking songs. Amazing songs. <laughs> Hitman. That was a good song. That, that rock, that, that kind of like heavy rock sound. That's, that's, you wouldn't even think, is that Queen? I don't know. Again, another example of people questioning if that is Queen. And again, a long, long time ago, one of my reactions, I made that comment. These guys, I got a sense that time I said it, could probably jump into any genre of, they, they tapped into it. And they, they embodied that kind of element of music. All right? Blues style, um, the Hitman. What else we got? All sorts. Uh, crazy Little Thing Called Love, Stone Cold, uh, Stone Cold Crazy. What else was there? Bit of like Radio Gaga, bit of disco style. You know, there's, there's all elements of it. There's all elements of it. You know what I mean? Bit of Bohemian Rhapsody, bit of operatic, operatic style vibe going on there. All sorts, all sorts, of, all sorts of people for all folks. You know what I mean? It's not like a one-dimensional thing where it's like, well, here's this kind of music, and we're only going to target this kind of specific people. The Queen weren't doing that. You know what I mean? Queen were gen genuinely about the music. No games. No like strategic approach to it all. No connivingness. No nothing. You know what I mean? They just put it out there solely focused on that ethic work ethic as well right until freddy's last moment you know what i mean literally you know what i'm saying working on another album uh, somebody left in the comments i think it was called made in heaven or something something that he didn't get to complete anyway i'm waffling i'm gonna go make sure you're staying safe out there and i'll catch you on the next one peace i'm feeling high